If proteins are indeed rare among the possible sequences of amino acids, what are the odds that mutations would stumble upon a functional combination of chemicals from the vast number of alternatives? To find out, Axe randomly altered the structure of an enzyme protein comprised of 150 amino acids. You've got a protein 150 amino acids long, then you've got 20 to the 150th power possible ways of arranging the amino acids. Out of all those possibilities, how many are functional and how many are gibberish? If you do the experiments and you analyze how much information is required to get, say, a new protein fold, it's just far beyond what you can get by random mutation and natural selection. How far beyond? Axe published his findings in the Journal of Molecular Biology. He determined that among all the possible amino acid combinations, the probability of generating just one short protein by mutation is roughly 1 in 10 to the 74th power, or one chance in 100 trillion, 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 trillion. To put that in context, there's only 10 to the 65 atoms in the entire galaxy. So to build a new functional protein by selection and mutation within the time allowed for the Cambrian explosion, what you're essentially having to do is equivalent to a blindfolded man looking throughout the entire galaxy for one marked atom. So what we're talking about is searching for a tiny, tiny needle in a, an, an enormous haystack and, and having a very limited time to search.